February 13, 2006, was not supposed to be Addie's birthday. That's dead. That's good. I'll just talk loud. We had no idea that night that we were that we were going to be bringing her into the world ten weeks early, but we did. That night, I saw God move in such a powerful way in our lives. I walked in a room where a doctor told us that she had to be born that night. And I walked outside that room with that doctor and I said, I want you to shoot me straight, tell me what's going on. And he said, Tara's done all she can do. She's got to come. And he said, I'm glad you're here tonight because I don't know what would have happened tomorrow. But here she is. I walked in a room with two teams of doctors and nurses one working on my wife and one waiting for my daughter. And I saw one of the toughest women I've ever met in my life. She was scared, she was worried, but not about herself. She was worried about the baby. And in a short period of time that night, just a few minutes, I looked into the face of this child, the last of our three. And you just, as a parent, shift gears at that point. Life becomes about the child, not about yourself. And about concerns and worries and cares over the child. She did great. Three pounds and six ounces. And our prayers shifted at that point when we knew everything was okay from please just let her be healthy to what we prayed for all of them, which was that one day there would be a time in their life where God would reveal Himself to them in such a way that they would know that there's nothing they can do for themselves that will bring them one inch closer to the kingdom of God. Nothing they can do on their own. It's only through the power of Jesus Christ and His love for us that we can ever have life any further than what we have right now. I'm happy to tell you today that all three of my kids know Jesus. All three of my kids have asked Him to come and live in their heart. All three of my kids have had that time in their life where they've said, I can't do it. I don't have it. I love you, Jesus, and I want you to come and live in me. And Addison has done that today. She has done that. She has accepted Christ. And Addison, I want to ask you, did you know that Jesus came and lived and he never committed a sin? And that he lived for us, he lived a perfect life, and that he died, and he was crucified, and that he raised from the dead. Do you know that? Do you believe that? And Addison, my daughter, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. that you just have your hand on them. Or we celebrate what you have done. Or we, we celebrate Patty's life. And Lord, today we celebrate her new life. And God, we just, we just thank you, Lord, for what you've done. Uh, Lord, continue to have your hand on this family. Uh, Lord, I pray that they would be lights into this world and you would use them to do great things for your kingdom. God, we love them. God, have your hand on them. May we be 
great church for them uh, to love them, to be there for them when they need us. Lord, thank you. Uh, thank you for your son, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen.